Good morning, once again from the Philippines. We are on a new island today. We took what didn't we take? Probably one to bus, go. two ferries, three tricycles Man, get to get to this other island. It's called Sikior. So far, we're absolutely loving it. Before we even set foot on it, we could just see how untouched it looked. So it's basically all jungle, all natural beaches. It looks amazing. We've been here about three days now. We've just been chilling out. We're staying in a wonderful guest house. Mm. Hey. No more sharing of Yay, well, for now. Yay, we get a real shower took a long walk the other day to Palaton Beach. We've come to Palaton Beach. It's one of the most famous beaches in Sikior, and I can definitely see why it's beautiful. The sand is so soft and the water is really calm, so it'll be really nice for swimming in. I haven't gone in yet. The water is so warm also, it's amazing. And there's hardly any people here. This is so weird. Is it heavy? No, a little bit, yeah. Mm. I didn't even realize how much coconut water was in one coconut. Yeah. Now we're taking another walk inland of the island a bit more to one of the famous waterfalls here. It's called Lugnassen Falls, Lugnassen Falls. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Photos look amazing, so expectations are high. Down here, I guess. Oh, it's real cool. Yes, it is, that's cool. Oh. It's gonna make me jump into the water. We're gonna get stuck in a spider web, that's what it's telling me. Whoa, this is tall. Holy cow. Definitely need this, it is hot, and that was a long walk. So we got here and I realized I forgot my GoPro, smart. Um, so unfortunately I can't take the underwater shots like I like to do, but it's so cool. It, the water is such a great temperature, cooling and relaxing after that super hot hour long walk that we had to take. Could just sit in there forever. But there's these really cool underwater caves way in the back here that you can swim right in. And it's so much fun. And the water coming down off the top here is even warmer than the water that we're swimming in. So it's really nice. And, like I said before, there's hardly anyone here. He's gonna do it. Oh. That is scary. Oh, cool.
What did you think of Blue Ness and Paul? Very nice. Fluid, more serene, untouched, wasn't touristy, wasn't gimmicky. True, Probably yeah. Probably a Boston fan. Felt was. like we were in the middle of the jungle, just yeah. jumping in a waterfall. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the way it was meant to be. It was nice little places to, you know, have a snack, and it was nice rock features to sit on and get in and out, which is great. But it also just it didn't feel gimmicky. Like, we've, you know, we've been to plenty of waterfalls where you just feel like a chump tourist. That was, that was what, 50 cents per entry? <laughs> Yeah. And you can see there's good infrastructure in it, so I was like, yeah, all right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. And they, they must keep it clean. There's lots of foliage falling down, jungle bits that, you know, will accumulate, but they obviously were cleaning that up in the swimming area, which is nice. And especially after going to Kawasan Falls on Cebu, it was it was a really big change. Mm. Like, we weren't forced to wear a uh, life jacket. We could actually enjoy swimming around in it. Yeah. Love that waterfall. Also, you may have noticed that my hair is short. Much shorter than it was before anyway. It's still pretty long by normal standards. For some reason, the ocean water in the Philippines and the humidity, I don't know really exactly what is causing it, but I'm having the hardest time managing my hair since arriving here. So a couple days ago, the last night we were in Mobile, it was just a jumbled mass of chaos that I was never getting through with a brush. So I just had to take the scissors and just chop about half of it off. So yeah, that's fun. That's not exactly the way I wanted the hair to be cut but it's not the end of the world we're just walking back now and we have a special dinner tonight that we're really excited about it's supposed to be a like a stuck pig and fish buffet it's at a bar called the Baja bar which is a Filipino completely run bar should be amazing It looks incredible. Look at this place for a dinner. So the buffet is here. It doesn't start for another 15 minutes, so we are pretty early. The lechon, which is the, uh, the pig. I imagine that's the actual full pig under there. Wow, oh, look at these peppers. Mm, sea grapes salad. I've never seen anything like that before. Fries, of course, yes. Squid adobo, that'll be great. Sauteed string beans with ground pork. That looks really interesting. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. This is my short hair, by the way. So this length now when it used to be down to my waist you can see a little bit better now that my hair is down they have unveiled the pig this is the one that's my favorite I was telling you earlier, but this place is absolutely amazing. Everything here is 100% local. So all the building materials that the building was made out of are made of local materials. Obviously all the food is local, caught locally, grown locally. Uh, even the beers are made at a local brewery, which is owned by the owner's sister. So everything is super local. Oh my goodness, I am notorious for overfilling my plate in buffets, but uh, this is uh, this one really takes the cake. How could I not though? Like this is like my favorite food. Uh oh. I didn't even get the crab. We also uh, went for the flight of the local beers, so that should be interesting. This is literally Carl's seventh plate. Pig is almost gone. 